Hi, I'm Katie from UK WordPress agency Bantu Media. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a sortable table which lists your WooCommerce products. So this might be useful if you want a single page listing all your products in a way that makes it really easy for your customers to sort and find the products they need in a different way to using the standard WooCommerce features. And it's great if you want a larger WooCommerce catalogue, if you've got lots and lots of products and that kind of thing. We're going to do this using Bantu Media's Post Table Pro plugin, which lets you create interactive data tables displaying any sort of post within a WordPress website. So you can use this plugin to display your pages, your posts, custom posts, and also things like products, because of course WooCommerce products are actually a type of post within WordPress. So here's how to do it. So here we have a test site which I've set up which is using one of the uh, free default WordPress themes and I've installed WooCommerce and in, uploaded some dummy data as you can see so I've got some products in my shop. I'll just show you the back end of the site. We've got two active plugins. We've got WooCommerce which is a free plugin that you will be using for your online shop. And we also have Post Table Pro, which is the plugin that's going to allow us to create a table listing all of our WooCommerce products. So to get Post Table Pro, you need to go to the Bantu website, which is here, and um, you need to buy the plugin. So um, I've gone to bantu.co.uk and gone to Plugins Post Table Pro, and that's where you buy the plugin. So follow the instructions to buy the plugin and upload it until you're at this point where you have the plugin active on your site and you have finished entering the license key. So once you've done that and you've got these two plugins in place, we can start creating the table of our WooCommerce products. To do that, I'm going to create a new page where I'm going to put the table. So pages, add new, and I'm going to call it product table, but obviously you can call it whatever you want. So now we're going to enter the Post Table Pro shortcode, which will display our products in a table. I'll keep it simple at first, and then later in the tutorial, we'll go through the more advanced options. So this is how to do it. We've got posts underscore data underscore table. Um, that will create a table listing our standard WordPress posts, um, like your blog posts or however you're using posts. That's not what we want for this. We want to display WooCommerce products. So to do that, we have to further configure the shortcode to display the post type product. So WooCommerce products are the custom post type called product, which you can see in this section of the admin, products. And that's what we want to display in our table. So I've created the basic shortcode and I'm going to elaborate by writing post underscore type equals and then in quotation marks, product. And then I'm going to close my shortcode. So post data table inserts the um, table itself with our posts and post type equals product tells it to display products in the um, product custom post type. So I'm gonna publish my page now and show you how it looks with just those things. So we're gonna to go to view page and here we have a table which as you can see is dynamically created and it lists all my products so these are my woocommerce products that we saw on the front end of the site and displayed in a table and these are the default column headers you've got title you've got an excerpt from the content which in this case is your product description you've got the date that the product was added and you've got the author You've also got categories, but that's looking for post categories rather than product categories, which isn't what we want. So not particularly relevant yet. The first two columns are fine, but if you were creating a product table, you're not really going to want your date, <clears throat> author and categories. So next I'm going to show you how to configure which columns are displayed to make them more relevant to WooCommerce products. So let's go back to our edit page screen and continue building our shortcode. So now I'm going to type columns equals and then open quote and I'm going to type the name of the columns that I want to appear. 
Now, the name has to correspond with the relevant field in WooCommerce. You can't just make up any old word and expect WooCommerce and the website and the plugin to know what to display here. So I'm going to write title. That is the title that you have at the top of any type of post or product or custom post, whatever. So that's the title field and the syntax for that is title. Next, we're going to have content. Content is the description which you enter in this box here. So with products, that will be your long description on WooCommerce products. Um, next, we're going to do something a bit more fancy, which is we're going to tell the table to display a custom taxonomy from WooCommerce. I'll do that first and then show you what I mean. So tax colon is to tell it it's a taxonomy. And then we've got product underscore cat. Now, that is what WooCommerce uses as its categories. Um, so if you just typed category, that wouldn't work because that's looking for post categories. WooCommerce categories here has the syntax. You can see it at the very bottom, actually, at the very bottom of the screen. Um, I can't hover over it and show you, but so I'll hover over products and categories. And at the very bottom of this screencast, you can see in the URL, it's taxonomy equals product underscore cat. So that's how we know that that's the syntax to use here. So we've got tax colon product underscore cat. And um, I think I want one more column as well. So this time I'm going to use one of WooCommerce's custom fields, which is price. So CF colon underscore price. Now, I realize you would never guess that in a million years. <laughs> so um, maybe use the short code exactly as I have entered it. And if you want your table to display different types of information, such as stock level or whatever, then you might have to send a support request to WooCommerce to ask them, is it a taxonomy, is it a custom field, and what is the syntax um, for that? So I happen to know that the um, syntax for product category is, ta is a taxonomy and it's product underscore cat, and I know that the price is a custom field which is titled underscore price. You'd never guess that. And then we're gonna close the quotation marks update our page and see what it looks like. So I'll refresh my page. And here we can see a much more useful um, table. So we've got the product title still, and I created that through adding title, columns equals title. We have content column, and we created that through columns equals content. We have product categories column, and we created that through tax colon product underscore cat, which is here. And finally, we have a price column, uh, which uses the price custom field from WooCommerce. So that's CF colon underscore price. And that's how we have added that column here. And so that's much more relevant information that you might want for a product catalog. So you can do tons of stuff with it. Um, if you can click through to each one in the title to view the actual product page. Or if you click on the categories, it filters by that category, which is quite nice. So then I clicked on music and it did a filter for me. And it also entered it in the search box. So if I want to type singles in the search box, it will filter everything by singles, music, um, and so see how it's filtering it as I go along. And um, so it's a very interactive table that your customers can use. You can also sort on the column headers to um, perform a sort by that. So if I want to search by price, I can do that. So these are all things that your customer can do when they view your table of WooCommerce products. And that's it. We've created a dynamic table which lists your WooCommerce products with the information that we want to show. Your customers can sort uh, the table by all the different column headers. They can type into the search box to find your product. And it's a great way to create a bigger product catalog, which is a much more succinct way of displaying your product than a standard WooCommerce product page layout. And I hope this is useful to you.